Social studies to me means that we all take an active and conscious role in trying to understand or appreciate other people's points of view. I think this is also what it takes to be an effective teacher. Without tolerance and acceptance of the people around us, life will be harder. For me, taking sociology and humanities-based courses has broadened my understanding of the world around me. I think that this understanding started to form when I was in an AP English class junior year of high school. This was also my favorite class because on the first day, my teacher took a special interest in our names and asked us all to pronounce it with confidence. I remember her saying something about, your name is what identifies you. And although you might have the same name as someone, there will never be the same person with your name. I really appreciated this gesture of time and attention to something as small as a name, something I had never really thought a lot about. This way in teaching allowed a shift in power and authority in the classroom. From this interaction, I learned that every person in the class matters, and your name is significant. My name doesn't have a special meaning. It's not a family name, and it's not something that was passed down for generations. But it is a representation of the time period I was born. Taylor, being one of the most popular girl names in the year 1995. Even though times might change and different things become popular, there is still a continuity to your name. Hopefully generations will remember your name. My name, Taylor, is also attached to another person, my identical twin sister, Rachel. Going through life with someone else at the same rate and same amount of life experience has given me a different perspective than most people. Not many can say that they have known someone like I know my sister. We don't have matching or rhyming names because my parents wanted to give us our own identities. Even though when we were born, they had to put nail polish on our toes to tell the difference. Because of having a twin sister, in life I have made an effort to be an individual and make my own path. During my time with the same English teacher, our class came across a quote that reads, We are the sum of all the moments of our lives, by Thomas Wolfe. And it's something that I think about often. Whatever we encounter through our day, whether it's a mistake, a triumph, or a celebration, those moments are all added up to equal us. When we meet a stranger, we are taking those moments and merging them with another person's. I always think about this when I meet someone for the first time. We take and carry every part of ourselves, every moment with us when we take on a new opportunity, and that is exciting. Knowing that some moments in life are pivotal and everything that we do is significant. This means that everything in life has a purpose. Besides being called Taylor, or occasionally Rachel when I'm around her, I also have nicknames like Tay Tay and Taylor Bug, even Miss Phillips when I'm in the classroom. And each of these different forms of my name have meaning, and I know those meanings wherever I go. This focus on my names in school was very significant for me because it made me care. It made me notice something about myself that I never had before and something that I intend to continue for my own students because each person in my class has value. Your name is your identifier. What legacy will your name leave behind? What would the world be like if we didn't have names? These next couple slides are related to the 10 themes of social studies. My documentary on my name origin and ways that I have grown is influenced by the second theme, time, continuity, and change. I think that every student should learn about their name and how it came to be. This is a study of the past and something that can be valuable for the future. 
times may change, but your name stays constant. Your name also influences your identity, the way that you interact in life, and ultimately your individual development. For these reasons, I have chosen the fourth theme to connect with my journey to becoming a teacher. I think your name also gives you your first personality trait. Everybody has a different name and strives to have their own identity. Different institutions also influence your name and the way you're treated. Family and friends in your life might give you nicknames. In groups that you belong to, you might also be known as a leader, president, or member. When I'm in the classroom, because of the way people and students address me, I am known as the teacher. Your name ultimately makes a difference and can be powerful. For these reasons, I've paired the fifth theme with my presentation. Thank you for watching.